Hello, grade 11. Welcome to your first lesson. We're looking at analytical geometry, and we're particularly interested today in finding the equation of a line. Uh, maybe before you proceed, please go back and revise the following concepts from your grade 10 syllabus. Uh, the, the thing about the distance formula, the midpoint formula, gradient formula, and the collinear points. Um, in this lesson, we will be using gradients, and so you need to make sure you start there. So we will use gradient because we are looking for equation of a line. And so we need to know something about gradients. So the formula is given by y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. And what we mean by that, in case you've forgotten, is that you have a line that passes through two points. Let's call the first point x1 and y1. And the line passes through a second point, say x2 and y2. Now, to get the gradient of the line, all you need to do is to subtract your y values from each other and divide the answer by the difference in the x values. So the gradient will then become the difference in the y values, which is y2 minus y1, divided by the difference in the x values, which is x2 minus x1. All right, please remember that. Then if lines are parallel, remember if lines are parallel, then their gradients are equal. If lines are perpendicular, then it means their gradients multiplied by each other will give you a minus 1. So if the gradient of one of the lines is 1 over 2, then the gradient of the other line should be negative 2, so that the answer is a minus 1. All right. Please go back and check those things. Um, our first example, determine the equation of the straight line which passes through two points. So the line passes through two points, one point is 0, 2, and the other point is 3 and 4. You can look at that diagram there, there's no need for the diagram at all. You can work out this problem without the diagram. So we want to use the form of the equation y equals mx plus c. Uh, in this equation, m is the gradient, all right? So m is the gradient of the line. So the first thing we need to, to find will be the gradient of the line. We need to know the gradient of the line. And then the second thing we need to work out is what we call c. c is actually called the y-intercept, right? The y-intercept. The y-intercept is the value of y where your line cuts the y-axis. If you look at this diagram, you can actually tell where the, the line cuts the y-axis. Now this is your y-axis, and that is your x-axis, and the line cuts at that point, and at that point, you can see y is equal to two. That therefore means c is equal to two. So if you get an easy one like this, you're done. So c is equal to two. So right, so please remember, um, if you are using the form y equals mx plus c, the only thing you need to work out is m and c. So m in this case will be your y2 minus y1. I have taken in this example the point 0, 2, to be my x1, y1. And then the other point, 3, 4, that that's my x2, y2. Okay. So y2 minus y1 means 4 minus 2. That is why I have 4 minus 2 there. And then x2 minus x1 will give you your 3 minus 0. So the gradient of this line is 2 thirds. We discussed this one earlier on. C is equal to 2 from there. So we know M and we know C. So all we need to do is go back to Y equals MX plus C. Where there is M, we put 2 thirds. So that is for M, put 2 thirds. Where there is C, we put the 2. So the equation is Y equals 2 thirds of X plus 2. Let's look at another example. 
Um, for this one, the line passes through two points, minus 4, 0, and 3, 4. Right, we want to use the same form of the equation y equals mx plus c, which means we just need to work out the gradient. We need to know the gradient of the line, and we also need to work out the y-intercept, the value of c. That is the y-intercept. So to work out your gradient, um, in this question, I took, I took my point 0.34. This is my x2, and that is my y2. And my other point, negative 4, 0. This is my x1, and that is my y1. So gradient is y2 minus y1, which means 4 minus 0. That's what I have there. Divided by x2 minus x1, which is 3, subtract negative 4. That is what I have there. So the gradient is 4 over 7. All right. Now, I know the gradient. The only thing I need to look for now is C. I'm using the equation Y equals MX plus C. I know M. I need to find C. So I need to actually know the value of Y and X. So I can pick any one of the points. You can substitute any point. For instance, if you want, you can take this point minus 4, 0. Uh, that point minus 4, 0 tells you that x is negative 4 and y is equal to 0. So I can rewrite this now. Where there is y, I put a 0. Where there is m, we put our gradient, which is 4 over 7. Where there is x, we put a minus 4, like that. That thing there plus c. If you simplify this, you will get an answer for c. Because this will give you 0 equals negative 16 over 7 plus c which means C is equal to 16 over 7, all right? So then, wherever there is M, put 4 over 7. Wherever there is C, put 16 over 7. So your equation is Y equals 4 over 7X plus 16 over 7. Here's another example. This time, we want to find the equation of the line. We are told that the line passes through the point minus 4, 0. That is the point there on the diagram. So that point there is minus 4 and 0. And we are told that the line is parallel to this given line. So this line is parallel to 2y plus 3x is equal to 10. So these are parallel lines. So this line should be parallel to that line, which means the gradient of this line and the gradient of that line should be equal to each other. But this line here is given as... 2y plus 3x is equal to 10. So we can use that to determine the equation. So if you rearrange that equation, you get 2y equals negative 3x plus 10. See that? Then if you divide by 2, both sides, the left-hand side will be y, and the right-hand side is minus 3 over 2x plus so if you rearrange that equation, it becomes y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 5. Remember, m is the coefficient of x. In this example, the coefficient of x is negative 3 over 2. So m is the gradient. So the gradient is minus 3 over 2 from that. So we now know that the, the, the gradient of line number 1, the line that we are looking for, is equal to minus 3 over 2. Okay, so the gradient is minus 3 over 2. The only thing that is missing is now C. Now to get C, you pick any point on the line. In this case, we are only given one point, minus 4, 0. So take that point where there is X, put a minus 4, and where there is Y, you put a 0. You, you do that in your equation, Y equals MX plus C you should get c is equal to negative 6. And so the equation of the line is y equals negative 2, sorry, negative 3 over 2x minus 6. Okay, that is a line whose, uh, sorry, we are looking for the equation of the line which is parallel to a given line. The next example, we want this time 
to find the equation of the line. The line passes through negative 4, 0. So we are told the line must pass through negative 4, 0. But the line must be perpendicular to this line. So the line is perpendicular to this line. This is the same line that we dealt with earlier on. If you remember, we made y the subject. Right. We made y the subject. So this equation is actually the same as y is equal to negative 3 over 2x plus 5, which means the gradient of this line, let's call it m1. The gradient of this line is minus 3 over 2. Right. So this is the gradient of the given line. This here is the gradient of the given line, that given line there. Right, but the given line is perpendicular to our required line. So the gradient of the given line is minus 3 over 2. How do we find the gradient of the required line? Remember that when you multiply the two gradients, you should get a minus 1. So what do you multiply negative 3 over 2 by in order to get a minus 1? Right? Do you see why the answer is 2 thirds? Because 2 thirds multiplied by negative 3 over 2 will give you minus 1. All right, so it's easy to get this. Uh, you can use the simple equation. 3 minus 3 over 2 multiplied by something should be equal to negative 1, which means that there should be equal to 2 thirds. So we now know the gradient of the line. Okay. We now know the gradient of the line. From there, you can use any one of the two approaches. For instance, you can now go back and use, right, you will go back and use y equal to mx plus c. So if you use y is equal to mx plus c, y is equal to mx plus c, then you need to use the point minus 4, 0. x is minus 4 and y is 0, so you put your 0 there. For m, remember it's 2 thirds x is equal to negative 4, all that plus c. Therefore, if you work out your c, you should get an answer of 8 over 3. So c is equal to 8 over 3, okay? So that is where we get that equation.